and welcome back. I'm hopeless. <laughs> as the the as the king of jump, I'm terrified. <laughs> I'm terrified how everyone else in this world gets around. Uh, I mean, they mostly don't. That's the whole thing. <laughs> all the other all the other characters are just hang out stationary. The guys the guys in this area are all like, I've sat here so long, my skin has turned to stone. <laughs> I used to feel sorry for them, but now I just feel sorry for me. <laughs> like, you know what? If my skin turned to stone, at least I wouldn't fall down any lower than where I was when it happened. <laughs> I might I might not ever go any higher, but I would never fall any lower. <laughs> and and sometimes I think that might be enough. Jump King is the destroyer of ambition. <laughs> Sadly, all of this area here is still old news. Even with all of that, I still didn't get up to anything new that time. <laughs> I've been I've been off that screen before now. Not before tonight, but earlier tonight, I made it off that screen for the first time. Oh, things are going smoothly for a while there, <laughs> but it's just, uh, you have to be so perfect for so long. There's no, uh, there's no checkpoints. It's a, just a stunning concept for a game. Hmm. 
<laughs> stunning is a word, yeah. Oh, well, it's just like, it's like, what? imagine if, like... Imagine if Mario Brothers 3 had no power-ups and permadeath. Technically, you are beating the game because you're not you're not raging beyond belief in every fall. I appreciate that interpretation, Claire. <laughs> uh. That would be a terrifying timeline to live in. You haven't even contemplated eating your controller out of rage yet. You're doing great. Oh, cows. <laughs> you know, you don't want a window into what this game has caused me to say inside my the privacy of my mind. <laughs> It's, it's getting it's getting it's getting pretty ugly in here <laughs> I love this game I can't wait to play more. You, you got it, Waz. You figured it out. <laughs> that's, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. I do kind of love this game when I make progress. I just hate it for the 99% of the time that I don't. <laughs> when, you, when you make progress, it's exhilarating. When you lose progress, it's the worst feeling ever. There's no in-betweens with this game. So I've been onto this screen before. I've seen the screen above this. Oh no. Why? Why all the way down? Uh, you love this game for six minutes a night. You sound like a League of Legends player. Uh, I can't say that I actually get the reference. I'm sure there's lots of games that make people feel like that, right?
so one thing about my situation as it currently stands, well, I'll explain in a moment, maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get up another screen. So on this screen, over there, hidden on the left, um, through those windows, there's a there's a salesperson in there with a... They have boots. They have boots to sell for ten silver coins. I currently possess five silver coins. So that either means on the way up here, I have missed five silver coins, which is not good, or... There are five silver coins up above me, which, when I after I collect, I will have to intentionally throw away my progress to return here. Or the five silver coins are not even on this path, because the game branches. <laughs> and I've never been up... I, I've only been up a certain height on the other branch. So the silver coins could be on the other branch further up than I've ever been. <laughs> so, I don't know exactly how bleak my situation is, but it's not good. <laughs> all, all possible scenarios mean that even progress one in this area will eventually have to be thrown away. My best case scenario is that I have to throw my progress away and I'm on the right track. Uh... But mostly when it comes to things like this, I try not to think about them too deeply. <laughs> I'm trying just to just to be in the moment with this game and not worry about any of the bigger picture issues. Surely no heartache will come of that, right? Oh my goodness, I did not expect to land on that. No! Oh no, I walked off! I didn't even fall, I, j I walked off! That's the worst. The wind changed on me. I am not... I am not the hero of this playthrough, I am the villain. <laughs> we were about to say we've never seen you get past the statue. I got past the statue. I, I actually did that earlier tonight. So there was, like, there was progress. I made it, I went all the way over there to that statue and hung out for a moment. And I was really disappointed that the game didn't say, Hey, GG, made it to one of six possible endings. <laughs> Or something like that. <laughs> I was hoping, I was hoping that statue was the end of this path, and there wouldn't be anything higher. And yet, I was wrong. <laughs> uh.
I was trying so hard not to not to jump over that. I think I'm actually better off if I purposely try to over jump that though and just maybe land somewhere better for recovery. <laughs> These jumps, these jumps physically hurt. <laughs> That jump seems like an especially tough maneuver. <laughs> the thing about the thing about that statement was is I can't even say like I don't the thing is I don't know which necessarily which jump you're talking about, and it doesn't matter because it describes them all. <laughs> yeah, I think I know which one you mean. I realized that after I said it. A lot of the jumps that don't seem like they should be that difficult are just devastating. This jump right here is really tough. I don't know if this was the one you meant. It fits the description, but, uh, I think, but, uh, that jump there is really tough. Perhaps somewhat shockingly so. But I think you meant the jump that's one screen up ahead. Yeah, you meant the one up here between these two platforms. This jump here, it actually, this jump actually isn't that terrible. Because you have a large safety net there on the left. Um, the problem is if you end up here, though, that I don't really have a good mechanism for getting off of this. Never mind, that worked. Oh my goodness, why?
No. That's why that jumps so horrible because look at the what the overshoot does to me. Oh my goodness. That worked last time I tried that, and didn't this time, and I can't tell you why. Oh, what am I doing? There are no safe jumps. There are no safe jumps. Every jump can be a nightmare. I try doing a full jump to the right. You won't regret it. You can thank me later. That's a that's a lie. That is a lie. That is not how you make that jump. Don't listen to these guys. That gets you onto that slope ledge and then you slide all the way back down. I wouldn't have listened to the game's backseating to begin with, but now especially, I actually have evidence of it, I actually have an example of it lying to me. I knew I was right to not trust it. No! <laughs> Thank you. 
witness. Why does this game have to hurt so much? <laughs> oh. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to climb in the shower and I'm gonna notice in the mirror that I'm covered from head to toe in physical real world bruises from playing this game. <laughs> The pain of this game is so great that it's going to have physiological effects on me. <laughs> Frowny sure falls gracefully. Go to step into the shower and splat on my face. Oh, I surely hope not. I'm curious how you found this game in the first place. I'm not exactly sure. I, uh... I found it a long time before I ever played it. I feel like. <laughs> Games that cause the most suffering. I came across a, uh, I came across a stream of someone playing it, I think. Um. I don't remember, I don't remember specifically when I first saw it, but I'm pretty sure I learned about it from a, from a stream. But I do recall, I do remember thinking to myself when I saw it, thinking, I, I think, I think I could have the temperament to play that game. I think that I could, uh. I don't know if I have the skill to beat it, but I think I have the I think I have the patience that I think that I could do it. I don't believe that anymore. <laughs> I uh I I I I think that assessment of me was wrong. <laughs> I believe. I definitely appreciate the vote of confidence. I feel I feel bad. I feel bad that I'm not better at it because it makes us trapped inside this game for so long. <laughs> like, I wanna... It, it hurts when I don't, when I can't make progress because I'm very aware that I'm letting us all down. <laughs> by uh, making the game go on longer and longer. <laughs> oh my goodness. There's a lot of, there's a lot of weight that I feel with every fall. Don't be so hard on yourself. I'll, 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 I'll try. 
<laughs> we get to spend time together with you and laugh. That's time well spent. Thank you very much, Cal. That's uh that is incredibly kind. kind of think that um, I am kind of thinking about like I might step that like I was saying I might step this back to just working on Jump King one night a week um, but I'm thinking like I'm thinking like in November I may do Jump I may do Jump King only one night a week, but give it the entire stream so that I have... Basically, the idea is that if I, if I only do it one night a week, I'll rust more in between play sessions, but if I do it for the whole night, then I'll have potentially more solid de-rusted time. The first the first few hours of every night will be worse, but the but the last few hours of every Jump King night should be better, I think, if I do it that way. Maximize the muscle memory. You might win before November. <laughs> oh, this, this, uh, this screen here. This is my PB. This, uh, I made it up to that other platform there. So I have been up a little bit higher, like, on that screen, but I haven't left that screen yet, I don't think. I think I only peeked at the screen above. I don't think I landed on it. Why? Trying to be optimistic. Maybe if I don't beat it by the end of the year, maybe we'll cancel Jankuary and I'll do Jump Kinguary. And I'll play nothing but Jump King for the entire month of for the entire month of January. <laughs> Seven hour streams, seven days a week. Oops, I'll jump king. I love it. Jump, jump king, you worry. 2024. Oh, I really, ho I really hope that's not my future. That is, that is not a timeline I want to live through. <laughs> uh. 
Yeah, and then I and then I end the month and then I end the month further back than I was before. <laughs> What a way to start out a year. Worst year ever. Or maybe the best, because he used up all the ter terrible in one go. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Jump King 2 gets announced. <laughs> These are some these are some pretty these are some pretty ugly thoughts. I don't want to think about Jump King 2. <laughs> Jump King 2 is the scariest thing I'll hear all spooky season. Worse than any horror movie. <laughs> No. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's much past my bedtime. I have to be heading off to sleep. Cal says good night. Cal's, thank you for being here. Thank you for uh accompanying me through this nightmare land <laughs> i hope you sleep well have a wonderful tomorrow and uh, hopefully we'll get to see you for the stream tomorrow night new we wear title i think it's called happy holidays halloween i think that's what's up next and uh splatter house first time first playthrough first time first attempt
see how that one goes. I've heard that game is also quite difficult. Splatterhouse is pretty fun. I'm looking forward to it. I think uh, I think there's a good chance that I'll uh, that I'll enjoy it. I don't know a whole lot about it, but you know, I've seen a I've seen a screenshot or two. We're gonna play the Turbo Graphics version. Um, but we're actually playing well. We're actually playing the Wii Virtual Console. Um, but that's the that's the version that's available on there is Turbo Graphics. So I've never played a Turbo Graphics game before. I don't think. That's why it's so awful, is just that a jump that's so easy to miss sends you so far away, like out into a whole other area of the map. Oh. What? I don't know how that fall even happens. happily trade one or all of my vital organs for a checkpoint. <laughs> No. Uh, I don't know why this room is so spooky. There's nothing in here. I think a bird was in here before. Maybe a coin. Yuck. Double yuck. As hilarious as losing an organ to Jump King would be, I think you should just quit if you really want to give up an organ over this. Uh. Yeah, you don't need all of your organs, to be fair. I was thinking of, uh, it had nothing to do with anything. I was thinking of, uh, I was thinking of Portal. Portal. 
Gladys says something over the intercom at one point about employees having an opportunity to donate one or all of their vital organs for uh, to charity at some point. One moment, my friends. Having organs, not having them, we all die. Some of us in 40 to 60 years, some of us in 24 hours. Those of us who give our organs away, yeah. That's dark. I mean, I kind of sent us on this spiral. I blame Jump King, though, of course. I didn't see a lot of the Super Mario Brothers Super Show as a kid, um, but I had some of the tapes. I had some of the episodes on VHS tape. I had uh, Butch Mario and the Luigi Kid. I had Mario's Magic Carpet Ride. I had King Mario of Camelot. And I had one of the Zelda episodes, uh, The Ringer, I think it was titled. So I had, I think that was all of them that, that I had. I have them all on a DVD now. They've, uh, they released them on DVD. But the thing is with the DVD releases, like, so each of the episodes as it originally aired, contained a pop song. Um, 
like uh, Butch Mario and the Luigi Kid has the song Rawhide. Uh, King Mario of Camelot has uh, Bad by Michael Jackson. Um, I don't think any of them are the. Uh, I don't. I don't think any of them are the original recordings. They're covers of these songs, but like like Guitar Hero would do a lot of the times, right? Would have uh, covers of pop songs. Um, but they don't have those in the DVD, in the DVD releases. The the, the pop songs are cut out and they're uh, they're just kind of replaced with like generic imitation music. But the weirder thing The weirder thing that they did was every episode has live action segments at the beginning and the end with uh, Captain Lou. And for some reason, the live action segments on the DVD are not paired with the same cartoons that they're paired with in the uh, on the VHS releases. They, it's like they took they they took they took and chopped all those pieces off and scrambled them about. I don't know, I don't know why that they would do that. So I don't know. Like the DVD is like the only like way to get all the episodes, I think. But it's not it's not a great definitive edition of the show because it's not accurate to what it was in a lot of weird ways. I can understand the loss of the, like, licensing rights for the songs. I don't know why those things are never, like, in perpetuity. <laughs> but I, you know, but they never seem to be, so, like, I get why that was a problem. I don't understand the scrambling of the live action segments. I bought a cut of beef I don't normally get. Chuck roll. I don't know if I've uh, ever heard of that. It was like cutting jello. The beef would not stay still at all. The beef itself leaves something to be desired too. Oh well. I have to suffer through eight more days. Oh my goodness. I can't say I recommend Chuck Roll to anyone. Duly noted. I've never heard of, uh, I've never even heard of such a cut. Hey, Mile High Roll, welcome in. How's jump? How's the jumping going? Uh, it's going about as good as it ever does. I saw I saw two new screens, but it's mostly been spent just retreading the same places I always fall down to, again and again. So you know, we have the ongoing illusion of progress, but mostly it's just repeating the same old stuff. Uh, we had the Mario Show DVD set. It came out in 2008. It was one of those where they probably didn't even know what was happening when they had to put it on the DVD set. <laughs> I assume by the time it was on DVD, the licensing was wonky and whoever the production team was probably wasn't a team anymore yeah it's just i don't know just 
just a, it's just a little odd, but yeah, I mean, the thing is, like, Nintendo doesn't care about those kind of things. Not that they ever really had anything much to do with the original productions, right? They just license that kind of stuff out. That's how we ended up with the beautiful fever dream of, like, the Mario live-action movie and stuff like that. But, uh, it's, I don't know, it's a shame that Nintendo doesn't care about that stuff anymore, because, like, I'm sure it wouldn't be that much of a problem for them to have, like, complete ownership at this point of all that stuff. For them to just, you know, sort of buy it up, buy it back, and then do with it as they chose to, like, sort of celebrate, like... Be, it would be nice if they were more interested in celebrating some of these weird cultural things that like ingrate like ingratiate a lot of their characters to us and like you know or not even if they cared about it just if they cared about making money off of it <laughs> Right? Because it would be convenient for those of us who are nostalgic for and interested in this stuff. <laughs> yeah, stuff like that gets lost to time. Lost to time. Yeah, it's, it's really unfortunate. <laughs> we think they probably figured... You might be the only one who remembered that they messed it up when they put it on DVD. <laughs> uh, chuck rolls are very flavorful, Mile High Roll says. Uh, slow cook. Too much blood and gristle for my taste, Zergling says. That jump is so hard. <laughs> So I've done this. I've peeked at the screen above here, but I've never actually been up there. <gasps> oh, new PB. Here we go. This place looks awful. Look at that little ledge up there. How am I supposed to land on that? I hate this game. Sounds like a low heat cook for hours kind of cut. I absolutely cut it the wrong way. Uh. I cut it into a, into a steak-like structure. <sighs> I'm uh, expecting I'm going to make some beef stew tomorrow. I hope uh, if everything goes to plan, I'm going to make a going to make a giant Dutch oven full of beef stew. Chuck roll would be good for beef stew. I got a big, uh, got a big chuck roast. Make my stew with onion, garlic, habanero pepper, carrot, celery, potato. Put 
some mushrooms in there too. It's gonna be good. I like the moo the best. That's the best part of the cow. <laughs> oh. Hey, stream Kyle, welcome in. Welcome to the never-ending pain and torment of Jump King. <laughs> A ribeye is hard to beat. If I only had one last meal, it would be ribeye mile, Hyrule says. What do you think Jump King's favorite food is? Frog legs. Pancakes. I was thinking maybe he ate them to uh, imbibe their powers. gonna lie that one hurt that one hurt a lot it only gets worse from here finish my season in madden 3 14 that uh that number is pi mile high rule did you celebrate with dessert Did you celebrate by firing everyone except for yourself? I had some chips. Yes. <laughs> Sounds to me like that's the best part of the game. Did not pass go, did not collect $200, fall directly into Greenland.
You're one to talk about falling. I was reading. I was reading a comment. Uh. Oh, and the wheel. All right, let's do that. That's more exciting than Jump King right now. <laughs> That'll make it up. All right, let's see. Let's see what happens. The wheel says, oh, it's it's something else new. Oh, this is Sour Patch Kids. All right, so that's candy. So, I have some sour, I have some sour things on the wheel, and you may think this is one of them, but it's actually, I got this one because this actually is supposed to match the theme of the wheel, somewhat, in some way. So these are Sour Patch Kids Fire. I don't know what's fiery about it but it claims to have a heat sensation. So, we're gonna try them out. I think I'll probably eat these two at the time. I think one might just be... So the, the flavors are things like Berry Blaze, Tropical Flame, Apple Fever, and Angry Watermelon. <laughs> Well, this isn't hot sauce. This is candy. They smell good. They don't smell spicy. Smell spicy. The angry watermelon, please. Um. Are there two of those on the top? You're actually in luck. There were. So I don't know what this heat sensation is supposed, all supposed to be about, but, uh... I detect no heat. Sour Patch Kids fire is a scam. <laughs> where's the where's the heat? Maybe I'm just immune to it. Maybe I should have had these at the beginning of the night. They're tasty though. So that might be this. This might this. Now we have. <laughs> there are at least things. There are at least three things currently on this wheel of scorching, that are pretty much completely devoid of heat. We know <laughs> that was that was that's somewhat underwhelming. They can't all be winners, though. Ah, uh, Stream Kyle says I'm waiting for the day after Halloween. Last time I got candy that day, I got this giant several pound bag of Sour Patch Kids for like three dollars. I ate so many that it was having a sort of sandpaper effect on my mouth. Oh my goodness. 
I mean, that is, that is the time to buy candy, right? Yeah, Warheads would do that to me. I've been, uh, I've been guilty of eating so many Warheads that I would, uh, that I would burn a sensitive spot into the roof of my mouth. Something with that stuff they put on the sour candy. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't done that with Sour Patch Kids. I feel like you'd have to eat a lot more of those. But I've done it with Warheads before. I've done that on Easter with the Starburst Jelly Beans. Eating the entire bag, Claire says. Zergling says, even if the chuck roll is cut up wrong, doesn't mean I can't slow cook it. A very simple stew. A block of butter on the bottom, some salt on top, and just let it slow cook. <laughs> let it just slow cook until tender. Alright, what else do we have? A hydrate, wheel, pistachios, hydrate, stretch break. Okay. Break open a brand new bottle of water. Cooling down the pipes. And uh, let's stretch for a moment. Stretch King. And <laughs> if he over get if he over stretches as he fall and have to do all the stretches all over again. The horror. I think that's only natural. down here I think this is where we began tonight and I actually think this is where we're gonna end my friends some snacks and a stretch I think a good way to think a good way to go out and we're past that time <laughs> we've hit the 5 a.m. mark so I should be saying good night I don't feel so bad for wanting to sleep now Zerg Link says well, thank you for uh, thank you for sticking it out with me. Thank you, uh, everybody, for your companionship. It is so very valuable to me, especially in so such dark times as Jump King. <laughs> it's very good of you to uh, it's very good of you to keep me company, uh, friends. Thank you for that. And uh, yeah, Splatterhouse tomorrow. So the rest of the uh, uh, week. 
Uh, we're playing a WiiWare game at the start of every stream. Tomorrow night, I think, is Happy Holidays Halloween, whatever that is. And then uh, in the later part of the night, tomorrow is Splatterhouse um, on the Turbo Graphics, Splatterhouse uh, 1. Uh, I'm actually playing on the Wii Virtual Console, but it's a port of the Splatter of the Turbo Graphics game. Um, so that's tomorrow. Thursday night is more Tears of the Kingdom, and Friday night more Jump King. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'll send us off on a uh, on a raid. Give me just a, a moment to see who is live, what they're doing. Well, I saw some one stream I might raid, but they are uh, wrapping up for the night, so we will go elsewhere. <laughs> boss <laughs> thank you for the uh thank you for the gift sub as always uh very much appreciate your tremendous support thank you for that and uh zergling take a key for coming in Thank you for your uh, thank you for your patience.
I'm going to send this off in the direction of Angelus. If you hang out around here, you probably recognize that name. Angelus brings raids over our direction pretty much all the time, so it's nice to send one back every now and then. Uh, Angelus is working on Layers of Fear. Um, might be a mature game, so heads up. You could have a could have some mature language or uh, content uh, in this uh, direction. So that's a deal breaker for you. Just a warning about that. But uh, but uh, thank you, my friends. Have a good night, you too, Stream Kyle. Thank you for thank you for joining us. But uh, yeah, I think we've we've been over the. It's very gory, Mile Hyrule says. All right, so yeah, I've been warned. We're we're switching gears here with the raid. Um, but uh, thank you very much, my friends, one last time. Um, I really appreciate you. I hope you're well until I get to see you again. Hopefully that time will be will come very soon. But uh, we are all out of things to do for tonight. It is time to head out. Let's go on an adventure.